Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope we're all well. Uh, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is going over game week two of Premier League fixtures and predicting what I believe is going to happen within these games and uh, having a little quick run through them. And yeah, and, and also in this video, we're going to be going over, and over the Fantasy Premier League and see how we got on last week and any changes we're going to make going into game week two. We're going to be doing them as well. So yeah, let's get into it. Here we've got our fixtures for game week two. Um, first up on the Saturday afternoon early kickoff, um, we got Aston Villa taking on Everton. Uh, now both teams got off to a losing start in game week one. Um, this one quite an interesting game to predict really. Um, both teams, as I said, uh, got off to bad starts. Um, I do feel as though Villa might get a bit of an improvement from last week. Um, Bit of a freak result losing away at Bournemouth, um, but yeah, I think Everton don't quite have enough to go there and get any result. Um, I'm going to think it's a tight one though. Um, I'll probably go one nil Villa in the end. Yeah, bit of a tight one. I'm going to go one nil Villa in the end for me. Next up we've got Brighton, uh, they host Newcastle United, both teams different to the last occasion we went through and uh, these both got off to a winning start. Um, Brighton, obviously massive win at Old Trafford, Newcastle really good home win to Forest. Um, for me, Eddie Howe's men, they are in a massive uh, high right now, they're on a massive high, good window, got in some solid players and they're really going to be looking on to push for these European places and think that they've got to go to Brighton and get a result um, and to be fair I do back them to do so I feel like it'll be a pretty close game but I'm going to go 2-1 for Newcastle I think they'll run away with a, with a win in the end next up we've got Arsenal taking on Leicester in the Yuri T. Elements derby <laughs> um, Arsenal massive win opening day Crystal Palace away uh, Leicester as we know threw away a 2-0 lead and against I can't remember Brentford it was they threw away two in the lead. Um, yeah, Arsenal been in high spirits after last week. Um, I feel like they have got it, they've got it too much to for Leicester to challenge them really. And yeah, I think they'll be comfortable winners in this one for me. Um, I'm gonna go three one win. I think Jesus might get two. I think I feel like we'll see a lot from him in this game. Um, next up, we've got Southampton taking on Leeds. Um, again, these two I think will be down the bottom end of the table this year. Both battling in them relegation battle places. Um, at least did get off to a good start last week against Wolves. Uh, I feel like this would be a bit of a tougher game, to be honest, away from home. Um, bit of a tough one to predict, really. Um, I'm going to go one all, I think, in the end. Um, like I say, I think both sides will get a goal, but yeah, I can't really split them, to be fair. They'll both be down there come the end of the season, I think. Next up, we've got Man City hosting Bournemouth at the Etihad. Um, well, they got off to a brilliant start last week, City, didn't they? Um, as did Bournemouth, to be fair, against Villa. But um, that man, Erling Haaland, looks absolute fire, to be fair. Um, he looks sharp and, yeah, I think any doubts that he was going to be a bit of a flop in this league are gone now. Um, but, yeah, I can't see Bournemouth getting anything out of this game, to be fair. Um I feel like they'll get a goal. I'll give them a goal, but um, I'm going to go with 5-1 Man City. Don't, not 52. I'm going to go 5-1 Manchester City in this game, and I'm going to go Haaland too. Um, I think a few others will chip in. De Bruyne might get one, or Alvarez might chip in with one as well. Um, yeah, next up we've got Wolves taking on Fulham. Um, Fulham got off to a brilliant start in game week one. Uh, Wolves, they'll be looking to bounce back. They've got to beat off Leeds. Um, I feel like this would be a good game. Um, Fulham, I, I feel like they might struggle a bit on the road this year, um, especially against teams in the top half. Um, I don't know, though. I'm quite struggling to give Wolves a prediction winning this one. But yeah, I've gone over. I'm gone over. I think they'll bounce back from last week against Leeds. Um, Fulham, I can't see them doing it every week. Um, they got a good result last week, so tight game though, I think. I think Mitrovic might pop up with a goal, but I'll go with 2 1 for Wolves in this one. <clears throat> Saturday night game, half five kickoff. Brentford take on Manchester United. Um, and United will be lucky to bounce back, obviously, from their defeat at Old Trafford against Brighton. 
Brentford, they'll be pretty pleased with last week. They got a point in the end after being 2 0 down. They'll be really happy with that. Mikhail Damsgaard has now signed for the club. Um, will he play in this one? Might be a bit too soon. But um, this one's quite a tough one to predict because um, United usually do quite well against Brentford. Not too sure why. Um, but yeah, it seems to be quite. They do quite well against Brentford usually. They usually get a win. Um, yeah, it's hard to predict United winning at the moment just because we've got so much to do in that market before it closes. Um, I'm going to go over draw this one. Um, I think United will take the lead, but Ivan Tony will peg them back. That's the way I think it'll go anyway. Um, I've got, oh God, who would I go for United to score? Um, I've got Fred. I think Fred will chip in with one. Why not? I know not a lot of people like Fred, but yeah, I think he'll get a goal in this one. Um, right then on to Sunday, we've got Forest hosting West Ham, which I think will be a really good game. To be fair, um, Forest they need to make count of the they need to make home advantage count this year in the games. Um, they need to make that the city ground a bit of a state of fortress. <laughs> uh, if it is called the city ground, I'm not too sure on that one. Um, but yeah, they need to make the home ground a fortress this year if they're going to stay up. Um, I think like this will be a tight game, and I might go on a draw here. To be fair. Um, West Ham last week, you know, they played City, they got played off the pitch a bit, really. Um, I feel like they've bounced back a little bit, but, yeah, I fancy Forest. Um, I'm going to go high-scoring draw, I'll go 2-2 in the end. Go for a Desmond. But, yeah, 2-2 for me, Forest, West Ham. Be a good game, that. I think like one of the better games of the weekend, but, yeah, I'll go for a draw. Next up, we've got probably the biggest game of the weekend. We've got Chelsea taking on Spurs and they're in the half-four kickoff on the Sunday. Um, both teams got off to a winning start last week. Spurs flattened Southampton, and Chelsea got away a win away at Goodison. Um, for me, it could be a tight one. This I feel like it will be a close game. And both sides, I think, will be there in around the top four at the end of the year. But you know what? I'm really spirited by this Tottenham side at the moment. They've got the, the, that front three. They've got Son, Kane, and Kulusevski. They're on absolute fire. Um, Chelsea. I think You'd like to think they'd get something in this game, but I just feel like that front three and Spurs, they're on absolute rich vein of form. And yeah, I think they're going to nick this one. I think it'll be 2 1 in the end to Chelsea, um, to Chelsea, to Tottenham, sorry. And yeah, I do think they'll pinch this one at the bridge. Next up, we've got Liverpool hosting Crystal Palace on Monday night at Anfield. Uh, they'll, be, they'll see blood, I think, Liverpool after last week, drawing at Fulham for 60 minutes. They were the worst team for me uh, Fulham probably deserved a bit more than they got in the end um, but yeah I think Liverpool they'll want to bounce back from that they'll be they'll be wounded <laughs> um, Palace they got off to a losing start on the opening day at Sellers they got a beat off Arsenal they'll be looking to bounce back but for me I feel like Liverpool will just be too strong on the day um, Monday night under the lights Anfield would be a good atmosphere you'd have, think, you'd have thought I think that's going to go against Palace. Um, I feel like Nunes will start. I think Firmino needs to come out of that team now. Um, they had really no, didn't have a great deal of impact against Fulham. I feel like Nunes will start, and I'm going to back him to chip in with two goals, and I'm going to go with 3 0 to Liverpool in this one. I feel like they'll bounce back big. All right, then, guys, moving on to Fantasy Premier League, and you can see this week I didn't do too well. The average is 57 and I got 55, just under that average mark, unfortunately, for myself. Um, we'll go over the points here. Mendy, who was one of the star men, he got 7. Um, my defence didn't do too greatly. Castagna chips in with an assist. Uh, Son, my captain, him in the end. I did bottle it with Nunes. I heard a bit of a rumour that he was going to be on the bench and I ended up captaining Son. He got an assist. Kulosevsky was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Got a goal and an assist, I think. Uh, Bowen, obviously the West Ham struggled a bit at City. Um, Luis Diaz there didn't really have much of an impact against Fulham. Um, unfortunately, I had fucking Rico Henry on the bench. <laughs> uh, Bernardo, didn't, he only came on off the bench. Alvarez the same off the bench. So I feel like we're going to have to make a change this week going into um, game week two. Uh, as you can see here, we are only third in our little mini league. Um, not too bad, considering we only got 55 points this week. But I'm going to make a change this week coming up. Um, I've been thinking about who can bring out 
I've been looking at it all week and um, I'm going with Bernardo Silva in the end because just I feel like he's got that move away lurking over him. Um, I don't think he's going to start every game for City so I think it would be quite wise to get him out. Um, and the player I'm going to go putting him in for, putting in for him should I say, I'm going with Gabriel Martinelli. Um, yeah, for me Arsenal, they look really good in that first opening game. and um, Sorry, I'm just having a read there. Yep, zero points, get him in. So I've saved myself 0 0.9 million there, swapping Silva for Martinelli. I feel like he'll, if he plays up front for Arsenal throughout the season, because I've got Son there who's a striker, really, and Martinelli who's probably a striker. And they're down as midfielders, so you can't really go wrong with that for me. Um, looking at the games as well, I'm probably going to make a few subs. Um, I may go Rico Henry. I feel like that's a bit of an easier game than he's got than Cucurella. I feel like he will come in in the end, Cucurella. But yeah, I'm going to take out Alvarez. I'm going to put in Rico Henry. Um, with just a one striker there. But like I said, we've got Martinelli, who's technically a striker. And Son, who sort of plays really advanced. Um, so I'll save that for now. If it saves. Yeah, there we go. Um, so looking at who I going to select as captain this week um, as I've said there in my review in my preview videos I think Nunes is going to start for Liverpool this week and I do think they'll be smelling blood after what happened last week so Darwin Nunes is going to be my captain this week and yeah as we can see there that's my team going into the next game week um, there's a few players I'm looking at bringing out Emerson Royale I've got an eye on at Spurs he could be replacing Matty Cash soon there's a couple of others as well, but I'll, keep, I'll try and keep them close to my chest. <laughs> but yeah, that's the team, guys, going into game week two for me. Right then, guys, that's all for today's video. As always, please get involved down in the comments. Tell me what you think the results are going to be this weekend coming up. Um, who do you think is going to pull off any shocks or anything like that? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Uh, get involved as well in the fantasy football stuff. Um, the league code's going to be down there if you did, did still want to join. Uh, let me know how you, you got on guys with your points this week any changes you're going to be making any changes you think I should have made as always thanks very much for watching uh, please drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you later guys